the launch of the Matua Matalavo project. And we've made a short video documenting the journey of our project. I think I really enjoy I've I've been in the movie <laughs> be famous. <laughs> The project, in essence, is a collaboration between Toa Pacific, who is an elderly organisation based out in Otahuhu, and Village Collective based in South Auckland as well. You want to come to the camera? The interview? Here? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be famous. There's a bit of a horror. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there is a bit of humour in it. There's some funny moments in it. Well, they feel like superstars, and they are. And it's so important for us to celebrate them and also to celebrate the young people. idea is bridging together the age gaps, um, the older people and the younger people, bringing them together to Talanoa to talk about some of the issues we face in our community, but also just to hang out with each other, have cups of tea, laugh, sing songs, dance together. Intergenerational knowledge transfer is what's happening. Who wants a smartphone? A touch screen phone. No? No. Great. That's what we're going to learn, right? They have no filter. No filter at all, so you hear all the shades. They're not afraid to be themselves around us, they're just themselves. You know, like Matos, it makes us feel younger. And uh, they're really good people to come and teach us how, how to work the iPad. We teach them how to dance, that's it. <laughs> you know, their jokes really help me to you know, connect with them a lot easier. Tidbits that they give, like when especially in walking in front of somebody, you always say too low or excuse me or something. Like, you know, them growing up and what it was like moving from, like, you know, the islands here. It's not boring. Just letting you know hanging out with old people isn't boring. They're amazing people, so if you have matours in your family, go sit with them, chill with them, have a tea with them, or even do TikToks of them. Okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> ultimately that's how our Pacific people learn best and that's how we used to learn as um it was all intergenerational, it was all older people passing stuff on to younger people. We come here, we need to be healthy. We need to be happy all the time and friend with everyone, be company, be friend. We are enjoy if we carry on with this program, they'd be really nice. Something we look forward. We're trying to really encourage that model of education and learning where we go back to our roots and go back to our elders. Keep, Keep it fresh. fresh. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. <laughs> Never mind. Awesome. Never mind, whatever.